All right, guys, what's up? Um, I'm just making an update on the B20 build. As you can see, I'm in my laundry room right now. So, um, the B20 is actually over here. And, uh, sorry about the noise, the autofocus. But anyway, this is the B20. It's super dark right here. Let me turn the light on. I don't know how much of a difference that'll really make. But, um, I got the block. I ended up deciding to paint the block. Um, just because it was what it took way too long to polish the whole block, so it's not really it's kind of hard to see, but it's like a, a nice dark gray, like metallic gray with a clear coat. It's all heat paint. Um, the, obviously, the oil pan's been painted. You guys, I think I already seen that. Uh, but everything inside of it is currently. Well, there we go. I got all the rod caps all cleaned up, and they're in, just sitting inside. Uh, the crank's still outside in the shed, and I'm still waiting on enough money to order the uh, YCP uh, pistons and stuff. I just uh, I'm a little bit like a little bit uh, behind for a few reasons that I'll that you guys will see in like next the next video that I'm gonna make. But yeah, so this is the block. It's all ready to go. I just got to get the pistons and the rod bolts uh, for that, and then if you go into my room. I'll show you guys what I'm actually doing today, what the video is actually about. Um, so I got the GSR head here, and I need to... Oh, and my cat's just chilling there, I guess. Alright, I'm not exactly sure what happened there, guys. I think it's because I tried to switch to manual, or to manual focus, and yeah. So anyway, I shouldn't have did that. But uh, you can see I got the GSR head here, and I need to um, regrind the valves and put them back in. Um, I've already shown you guys... the the ports, you can actually see them a bit better here because I got way better lighting in here, but you can see the intake sides uh, a little bit rougher, and the reason you, the exhaust side actually looks a little darker is because it's more polished, so it doesn't really matter what angle I put it on, it's going to look dark, but anyway, um, I'm going to need to relap the valve, so I'm going to show you guys how to do that, um, not going to too far into detail because there's tons of videos and, and stuff on it, obviously, um, already, but I'd like to... Uh, do that, get the valves all lapped, and this is what I actually used for this to take the valves out. Um, they weren't as stiff, even the dual springs on the intake side weren't as stiff as I thought they were. Um, and I would like to, uh, before I actually put everything back together, I'm going to be ordering or trying to find some dual springs out of uh, either a stock like B16 GSR um, head and uh, doing them on the exhaust side, or I will order the blocks. Uh, dual valve kit, but either way I want to have dual valves on both sides, uh, dual valve swings on both sides because I'm going to be revving it quite high, so yeah, this is the head. I'm going to start lapping the valves here soon. I've got, um, up here I've got my, oh, a little bit of a mess, but i got my valve, lap, la, eh, valve lapping compound, and uh, yeah, it works good. I've already used it on my D-series head. Uh, the nice thing about the B-series head is it's actually a little bit, uh, it's a little bit um, bigger intake valve, so they're going to be a lot easier to use my actual tool on. Whereas the D-Series, this tool didn't actually work. I should have went one size down, and I didn't. But um, for the B-Series, this side should work good for the intake side. Now, if I have an issue with the exhaust side, I'll use a drill and a piece of uh, like vacuum hose um, and do it from the other side. Uh, it's pretty quick and does the same thing anyway, so I just want to reseal all the valves. My valve stem seals should be here within probably, I'm thinking, the next couple days. They're supposed to be uh, in between, I think, the 10th and the 14th or something, so I'm, I'm, I'm honestly thinking they're going to come in today, but if not, uh, probably tomorrow. So I'm going to show you guys also how to remove the old valve stem seals, which um, don't really look bad in this. They look like they've already had uh, some uh, SuperTech valve seals put in them or maybe just uh, an OEM style uh, with two different colors I think. From what I've heard, the OEM uh, valve stem seals are all brown. This already has blue and brown in it, so it's either SuperTech or some type of aftermarket OEM replacement um, sort of thing. So I'm going to show you guys how to take the old ones out, uh, lap the valves, and then I'll uh, also quickly show you guys how to put the, the valves back in, which I'm not going to go, like I said, too far into detail. There's tons of videos on it already. Um, and then we're just going to get the whole head assembled back together. And I've also got the valve cover down here, which I need to... Um, I'm not 100% sure if I want to polish it yet or if I want to uh, paint it, but it's stripped down except for over here and around the oil cap on the top. So I'm going to finish stripping that down with the wire wheel and then decide whether I want to, want to polish it or if I want to paint it. Um, 
I kind of want to go with a polish just because I'm uh, like I've got the water neck polished up there for it's kind of hard to see but I've got the water neck polished up there for uh, the back of the block and I've got a few other things polished but uh, yeah we'll see what uh, what happens um, we'll go from here I guess and I'll show you guys how to uh, remove the old valve stem seals first and then we'll lap the valves so I'll uh, set the camera up and see you guys in a sec Alright guys, so before I actually get started on, I already took one off, uh, one of the valve stem seals off, but before I get started on taking the rest off, I actually just did realize they are all the same color, and it all looks like they're a, a green, uh, yeah, it looks like a greenish color, so it's probably, they're probably OEM valve stem seals, um, but they did come out really easy, so I don't know if they've been replaced, or if it's maybe, like I said, an aftermarket OEM, but uh, they're coming out a lot easier than the D-Series, and all I use is a pair of players, and I get in here, and I... Uh, twist it back and forth and you'll you'll see it slowly come off you want to you don't want to put too much pressure on it or you will um, dent the actual valve stem seal and it'll be even harder to get off but yeah this one came off really easy um, and I don't know here, I'll try to focus that in see if you guys can see it as you can see once it's off it's dirty I need to clean it up um, but yeah I'll just continue to do that for the rest of these and uh, and then, like I said, once that's done, we will lap the valves. And some people will leave the valve stem seals in uh, while they're while they're lapping the valves. But they, the valve guides will obviously hold the valves in place where they need to be while you're lapping them, so you can take the seals out. And just uh, I, I think it just makes it easier to clean it up when you're done lapping the valves. And then throw the new seals in, and then throw your valves in, have everything cleaned up. Um, so yeah, we'll continue to remove all the valve stem seals, get those out. It shouldn't take too long. Um, I was going to set the camera up. But there's not even a point now. Um, I can probably show you guys quickly how to do one so you can at least get an idea. So, let's see here if I can get that focused. Yeah, just be careful you don't hit any of your, uh, like, anything that has moving parts that touches it. The cast isn't too big of a deal. But if you look, I'm just going to go back and forth. and I'm gonna All right, guys, so we got all the valve stem seals out. Um, uh, the intake side was a lot easier. I didn't realize when I was starting it, I was on the exhaust side. I thought it was on the intake side. Um, so yeah, just keep that in note. The exhaust side is going to be the tricky side. If you have to, you can heat them up with a torch. Um, it'll help them come off. But uh, I didn't have to in this case. The intake side was super easy. Um, now, mind you, I've still got to clean off the tops of these, and they're very hard to reach. Um, so what I usually like to do is take like a uh, socket that's just a little bit bigger than them, um, shove some toilet paper in there and like maybe soak it with brake cleaner, like uh, some isopropanol, and just turn it, uh, run it around there. Um, in the case of a couple of these, I got a little bit of rust starting, so I'm actually going to use WD-40 on these ones um, to, to initially clean them. Uh, I also got to shove some Q-tips through the valve stems and get any gunk out of there before I start lapping the valves so I don't actually scratch or hurt the uh, valves themselves. Um, yeah, so I'll get that all cleaned up and then we'll start lapping the valves. Okay guys, so you can see I took a Q-tip and I put some of the val uh, valve lapping compound on all the intakes. Um, all the valve stems are cleaned out. I'm going to start with the intake, um, do all them. Basically all the valves are ready to go from cam gear side to dizzy side. So I'm just going to drop them in like this, gently, one at a time, do them all across. and. Uh, Start lapping them. I'll just show you guys basically how to lap one and then I'm going to finish them off and uh, clean them all up. I'll show you the intake side and then uh, I will probably just finish the whole head after that, put it all back together. I'm going to get the new valve some seals and then I'll finish the video once the head's all back together and the valve cover is polished or painted. And uh, it'll be kind of like a whole finished head, uh, head video. I could show you guys how to. I could show you guys how to, oh, see, I just accidentally got valve lapping compound on this, so we're going to have to go like that, and we're going to have to take one of these Q-tips, I didn't mean to do that, I tell when I went to put it in the uh, valve stem seal that it wasn't going to go in, so clean that out quick, then pop, so anyway, just got to be careful, you don't want to get anything down in the valve, uh, valve stems themselves because or the valve guides sorry um, <clears throat> uh, because you could wreck like I said you could scratch up the valves and wreck them so you can see so I got all the intake valves in and basically um, it'll just be like this for the first one um, set the camera right here Ok, 
Okay, so you can kind of see that there. I'm just gonna show you roughly how to do it. So. And you just lift it up and tap it back down a couple times. Going down all around it. Make sure you go back and forth, go back and forth, lift it. Every time you tap it, it gets some more, uh, some of the fresher valve compound on there to grind it quicker. So we'll uh, have a look at that valve. It shouldn't need too much more than that. That's pretty well all you have to do for each one. Um, because these ones were already quite clean, I don't have too big of a concern with them. But uh, some you will have to actually um, do quite a bit if they've got pitting and stuff. Um, these ones weren't too bad for pitting, so you can actually see it's already uh, it's already cut the valve quite a bit. So here, let's see. Set the camera down for a minute. <clears throat> Clean the valve off so I can show you guys what it actually did to the valve, not just. Okay, so. <clears throat> And if you, like I said, it doesn't take very long, and because these valves were already very clean, um, you can see that's pretty well good there. I can see almost no pitting. There's maybe one little spot. The valve's obviously nice and straight because it sealed very, very evenly all the way around. So um, that's basically it. Like I said, you guys don't have to, um, you don't have to grind it very long. Unless you've got a lot of pitting and stuff, and at that point you're probably going to be wanting to look into a three-angle valve job, and maybe some new OEM valves. Um, but yeah, that's pretty well it for grinding it. This is the uh, same as what I did with my D-Series, and I'm going to clean up and look at the seat, because you also want to look at not just the valve, but the seat, and make sure there's you've got all the pitting out of it. Um, so I'm going to clean that up, look at it. I might just, um, might just grind it maybe a tiny bit more, just so I know when I... Uh, clean the paste off of it. I don't got to put more on. Um, but yeah, like I showed you guys, it doesn't take very much, and uh, that's that's pretty well it for for doing that. So I'm just going to finish all of them on the intake side, do all the exhaust ones, and then once that's all finished, I'll uh, start assembling the head. And I might do like a I might do a time lapse of just like putting the uh, uh, lost motion actuator and, uh, and like rocker uh, assembly and all that stuff in. Um, but I, I'm not 100 percent sure. I might just. Uh, cut it because it's already getting pretty long and just show you guys once it's all back together quick make it like a minute video and then just end it off kind of thing but we'll uh, we'll see so we'll be back hey guys what's going on so um i can't remember exactly where i left off uh the video is kind of going to be all over the place just because of when i taped it and stuff like that but i just wanted to quickly show you guys the head all finished i haven't got a a chance to uh uh do anything with the valve cover yet but uh the whole head is assembled i got the cams and stuff just sitting in there um and with the cam caps and everything just screwed lightly down um so i'll show you guys this quick and this whole video is going to be like crappy focus i'm going to figure out more about this camera so i can get it to focus without having to hear that um so yeah it's kind of hard to see really i guess but uh it's all together it looks really good um, and you'll obviously see most of it in the video but uh, like I said all the valve strings are back in can all that stuff valve covers not quite finished yet but um, heads ready to go on so now I can concentrate on the block uh, new valve stem seals all that stuff so cleaned up really nice really happy with it and all I really have to get now is one cam seal because I already got one right here um, which is, I can't remember if this is the intake, it's supposed to be the intake or the exhaust side, I can't remember for sure, but, um, yeah. I'm uh, just going to get one more of those and a valve cover gasket, and then we'll be good to go. So, um, Um, hope you guys have a good one. Sorry, I'm like super tired, but yeah, anyway, hope you guys have a good one, and uh, like I said, this video might be all over the place, but um, the next one I'll try to keep it a little more organized in, uh, when I take the shots and stuff, but like I said, the head's ready to go, ready to go on the B20 block, 
Next up is doing the block, and it's already all finished and ready to go, so we're just putting the block together once I get the parts for it, um, which will hopefully be soon. And uh, we've got I've got another video I'm going to be making hopefully today or tomorrow, and you guys should like that. So have a good one.